What's up guys? This is Luke from Luke's Garage Gym. Bring you guys a brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna do a review of PowerBlock's newest release. It's the Pro 100 XP adjustable dumbbells. Could this be a right fit for you guys in your home gym? Let's see and find out. Hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, before we get started on the review of these new power box, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to push this video across the world, baby. My name is Luke from Luke's Garage Gym. I do home gym reviews, tips and tricks show that you out there can get jacked in your home gym, baby. Guys, I am so stoked to review these. If you don't know, I've been using power box since the beginning of my home gym journey. It was actually one of my very first things I bought when, believe it or not, your boy was in a very small one-car garage gym in a townhome. And obviously, <laughs> things have upgraded um, because of you guys as supporters and the grind on making these reviews. And shout out to Powerbox. They sent me these. Yeah. Okay. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like a, a kid in the candy store when they reached out to me to want to collaborate with this. And that's not going to have any sort of you know, intake on the review because I'm going to be honest with them. So obviously using these for a long time, I have a lot of feedback with using these. So I want to do is just talk about what is new about these and then go from there. So if you guys take a look at these power blocks, the main thing is they now can go up to a hundred pounds. And that was always a lot of people's concerns. Now, how many people out there can lift a hundred pounds? Not a ton. But for the guys that are your advanced lifters in the home gym who are very minimal on space, 90 pounds, they get kind of on a plateau and they get stuck. Now there's options for you to be able to go up and wait. Okay, there are micro gains with the 1.25 to the two and a half pound plates to get you a little bit higher. But again, 100 pounds is a lot nicer for guys out there. You know, like, you know me, like obviously I've been lifting for 17 years. I would like to have you know dumbbells that go up to 100 because 100 seems to be the great the best number to be able to do like two to eight reps and the main thing that they've done different about these guys is that i've noticed two things they have a more of, of a square shape at the end and something else they also did too is they added the amount for when you're adjusting each set so like obviously this is your 100 if i were to go and adjust to, let's just say, go to the top here and go to 20. You can see the number that's there, which in my personal opinion, that's nice to see because as, as much as you know, you get used to these and understand each weight increment, it's nice to see that you have what you're using. And also too, they have in the front here is they have the different weight increments with the different colors. Which, so if you're like wondering, okay, what is white? White's 30, orange is 40, green is 50, which is, they still been, they still have that, you know, other, other of their models have the same thing. And obviously, you take this out, your handle is 10 pounds. And also, it's the same thing too, where if you want to take out your adder plates, so one of these is two and a half pounds. And obviously, there are, I'll put them right here for you guys. That is nice to where you then would have your different increments of two and a half to five. So this then puts it at 30 different weight increments you can get in one set in a space saving aspect that now go up to a hundred pounds. So talking about some things that they definitely adjusted with the newer model is it came with these rubber handles. Now, these rubber handles are definitely thicker design. I'm gonna say it was 38 millimeters, which, you know, if you have pretty big hands, that's not a big issue, but guys with smaller hands who can't wrap their hand all the way around the handle could be a major red flag for those kind of people. So obviously what they have provided is knurled handles for people out there who wanna steer away from rubber. They want to have that grip in their hands so that if they're doing the hundreds, they want to have the best grip possible when they're performing their different lifts. So they're knurling, which I'll show you right here, I would say is not aggressive at any means, but it's 
suffice to where you have a good enough grip strength to where you're able to push the weights and there's no slippage when you're doing it. Now, one thing that, you know, I've, I've watched a lot of other people's reviews on this and a lot of their thoughts too. And I know Coop gets a lot of hate or not in the home gym community. But one thing he mentioned is that they just provide a option for knurled handles. The problem is if you want knurled handles, you got to buy them. And then you'll have to do is you have to, which I'll take out. I'll show you what you would have to do. You have to get an Allen wrench. You have to take this out and you have to put them in yourself. Now, what did it take me like 20 minutes or even less to do it? But some people out there, probably a very small percentage, would like to see the fact that you just have them preset in the dumbbell so you can click between rubber handles or neural handles. I'm sure it can't cost them too much. And that way there's different options for people out there who are not wanting to have to worry about, you know, taking it off, putting it on and putting it back, which that is honestly what the children call bougie, but people like the convenience of that. So it's, they get them shipped to them, already have the preset handle they want. So it makes life a lot easier. Um, so if we talk price of these guys, it's $489 for just your regular five to 40 pound set. And then if you're looking to expand, what's really nice is they have numerous expansion packs for this, which I'll plug each expansion pack on the side here. So you're wondering the price and the different weight increments you can have. So what's nice is if you're someone that can't get to hundred pounds yet, don't buy it yet. Wait until you progress to that and then buy that expansion pack. That is nice for people to know that that's available to you when you get to that point. Cause people, you know, starting out working out from home, like, you know what, 40 pounds, even the 60 pounds is plenty for me now. And if you notice after a couple of years, you build strength, you can add those expansion packs to this, which I think is a huge win with these PowerBot Pro 100 XPs. So I just wanted to show you real quick too. So this is obviously the Pro Series that goes to 90. If you kind of can see how the backside here compared to here is more squared off compared to this, which I mean, for anyone out there, okay, the square block shape form of these dumbbells is going to be awkward at first. Okay, as someone who has been using these for numerous, I would say numerous, multiple years, okay, in the beginning, I'm like, this is weird. Okay, because you're not used to the, sh uh, the type of shape this has to offer, but there's a reason why these guys have been in business for a long time, since like the, I think the 90s, I wanna say, is because these are built to last. Okay, these are made of steel with, I wanna say it was urethane coated. So these things are built to last. Now, let's talk about drop proof because a lot of people are maybe curious or wanna know because there will be moments when you're lifting where you could be doing a pressing movement and you're kind of stuck here. You can't have the, you don't have enough strength to throw it on your legs. You gotta let these go. So. I did a little bit of digging. So on their frequently asked questions page, I'll even plug it here. They're like, don't drop them, but they have a specific height to drop them. That's in warranty. If that happens, will I ever want to drop these? No, <laughs> I've been using these for years. I don't ever get to that point. Um, but again, things like that happen when working out. So just so you know, that's what they have to offer with these. If that happens, um, there's a reason why they don't provide drop proof from 32 inches on it because they're not designed for that. And if you're like, I want something that's drop proof, then probably not the best option for you. Again, this is my opinion on what I think of doing that. Okay, obviously you can go with the Snodes or drop proof because they're made of cast iron or, you know, Iron Master. I did a review of the iFast, which are all made of uh, cast iron, but again, totally your preference in that aspect. So give you my overall thoughts. So the nice thing about these power blocks is they are made of, you know, steel with your thing molded, built to last. Durability of these dumbbells will literally last you a lifetime. Obviously it's always important to take care of your equipment. Okay. Some things that obviously could be drawbacks from getting these is people like or imitate the real dumbbell feel, which again, it's nice that you have the option of 
this knurled handle to get you close to that real dumbbell feel, but you never will get the shape of that with these dumbbells because they are in block form. I would say, you know, I do think is using these for a couple years, okay, the transition between each weight is pretty quick. Okay, obviously, you know, it takes time because you gotta make sure you get each of these pieces in the right slot or you could get it stuck, you could get it to snap, which has happened to me, but again, that's not on power blocks to me because I'm just an idiot, but that's something to think about. I would say too, the fact that these can go to a hundred pounds is a massive win for the advanced lifters out there looking to push past those 90 pound increments. Again, if you're looking for something, you know, past 90, Power Blocks has this to offer. I would say too, is this is a very, again, bougie, we will call it thing, is the fact that someone who is very, not very good at math, again, English teacher here, I'm actually shocked, and I've heard other guys talk about this, they don't offer the two and a half to five pound increments on this somewhere, which I get, where are you gonna fit that? You're probably gonna put it right here. It's gonna be very small. So maybe an idea could be they offer like a little poster and it shows the different increments with 30 pound uh, sets they offer and you could put the poster on the wall right next to it. So you can just, as you're picking your dumbbells, you can look up at the poster and say, oh, okay, this is uh, seven and a half. This is 10. I have to take out one, two and a half to get seven and a half. Is it a stupid idea? Maybe, <laughs> but it's just something because they did send me posters a long time ago. I was like, oh, why don't you make it a poster of all the different increments you get and just showing a step-by-step -step of it, just an idea. Um, again, overall, do I recommend the power box? Yes. Are they expensive? Yeah. If you're getting up to a hundred, over a thousand bucks. But again, a lifetime investment. This is a buy once, cry once piece of equipment. You, I would say arguably is one of the best adjustable dumbbells on the market. One of, didn't say the best, because of the, again, the durability. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of these dumbbells. Is this something you've had in your home gym or looking for? Let me know your thoughts. Really excited to continue pushing out content for you guys and loving these dumbbells in the home gym, baby. Thanks for sticking around for this review, guys. This is Luke from Luke's Garage Gym. See you guys later.